Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Earlier today, India has received a joint submarine design and construction proposal from Russia, and the project promises to drastically reduce the cost of Indian Navy's next-generation submarine plan. The proposal was discussed between Prime Minister Modi and the Russian President Vladimir Putin during the India-Russia formal summit that was held recently. Russia has offered a better alternative to the upcoming $10 billion project P-75I tender, under which six new diesel-electric submarines were to be constructed and fitted with an air-independent propulsion system. The Russian side has offered 100% transfer of all intellectual property for the design and prototype construction. Russia has also said that there will be no limit to the number of submarines that can be built under the project. Under the competitive process, an initial payment of over $2 billion might be necessary, and the proposal is for joint design and building of a prototype, and the technology would be transferred to the selected Indian shipyard for construction. The design consultancy for the project will cost less than $200 million, that could result in savings of immediate payments, for the Indian Navy's next generation submarines. The proposal seeks to design the submarine to meet Indian requirements, including installation of the BrahMos system, as well as joint development of air independent propulsion system with the Defense Research and Development Organization. India and South Korea are expected to hold discussions on the purchase of trainer jets for the Indian Air Force during the upcoming visit of the South Korean President to India. KT-1 aircraft of Korean Aircraft Industries of South Korea could be considered for the Indian Air Force as it was one of the shortlisted aircraft in 2011. James Fisher Defense has announced that it had successfully completed the first sea dive and recovery of the deep search and rescue vehicle for the first of two submarine rescue systems that is being delivered to the Indian Navy. After the delivery of the first system to the Indian Navy in April this year, the manufacturer had deployed a team of 30 expert personnel to India's west coast to support the mobilization followed by sea trial of the vehicle, and worked in close partnership with the Indian Navy. The Indian Space Agency has carried out the first tests for a crew escape system. ISRO has said in a statement, that the system was tested, with a simulated crew module with a mass of 12.6 ton, during which the system with crew module soared skyward and the crew module reached an altitude of nearly 2.7 kilometers, before floating back to Earth under its parachutes. According to military experts and sources, after a series of mechanical failures, China is building a new carrier-based fighter jet, that will replace its J-15 fighters. According to top aviation experts, the J-15 is a problematic aircraft, which has an unstable flight control system. The J-15 was based on a prototype of the Russian Su-33 aircraft, a design that is more than 30 years old. The Turkish Defense Minister has said, that Turkey will sell four Corvette ships to the Pakistan Navy. Turkey had signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the sale in 2017, and the tender has now been finalized, which is described as the largest defense export of Turkey in one agreement. India is also scheduled to hold a maritime affairs dialogue with China and Russia very soon, and according to government sources, the meetings will be held separately. Meanwhile, the Chinese defense minister is also expected in New Delhi, to hold bilateral discussions with his Indian counterpart. Enhancing confidence building measure, the Indian Army has showcased its Po Force system to the visiting Chinese military delegation at the Sivok military station in West Bengal. The eight member high level Chinese military delegation, led by Deputy Commander of Western Theatre Command, had visited the Sivok military station as part of their two day visit to the Tree Sakti Corps of the Indian Army. Larsen and Tubro has laid the keels of two new generation offshore patrol vessels, ahead of its contracted schedule. 
Industry analysts have said that Larsen and Tubro is demonstrating its capability in order to position itself for the upcoming multi-billion dollar project P-75I tender to build six new submarines for the Indian Navy.